In this video, I'll show you how to find the derivative by the delta method. This is question one. The question reads, find the derivative of the function y is equal to 3x squared by the delta method. To do this, we'll need the following definition of the derivative, where dy over dx is equal to the limit as delta x approaches zero for the following expression, y plus delta y minus y over delta x. Now you're probably not used to seeing it in this particular notation, you're probably used to seeing it like this, where we have the limit of delta x goes to zero for f at x plus delta x minus f at x over delta x. Now if you're more comfortable using this notation, feel free to do that. But in case you're not, you can still use your math intuition here, where y plus delta y is the same thing as substituting x plus delta x into your equation. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's substitute x plus delta x into this x, then subtract it from the function itself. We have the limit as delta x approaches zero is equal to three bracket x plus delta x to the power of two minus 3x squared over delta x. The next step is to expand this part, and I'll do that over here. We have x plus delta x multiplied in itself. This is not hard to do, we're multiplying two binomials. x times x is x squared, x times delta x is x delta x, and similarly, multiplying these two gives you the same term. This term times this term gives us plus delta x squared. I'll combine these, where I end up with x squared plus two of these, x delta x plus delta x squared. Don't forget this three. You need to multiply these three terms by three, and you should end up with the following expression. The limit as delta x approaches zero, is 3x squared plus 6x delta x plus 3 delta x squared minus 3x squared over the same denominator. Something interesting just happened. This 3x squared and this 3x squared went away, leaving us with the limit written the same way as before, is 6x delta x plus 3 delta x to the power of 2. This part can be factored. In fact, it can be common factored. There is a delta x in common in both of these terms and a 3. So I'll factor that out, 3 delta x, leaving me with 2x plus delta x. You can check if you did this correctly by multiplying this term into these two, and if you do that, you should end up with the same. Over delta x, this cancels out with this, and if I take the limit now, as delta x approaches zero, this becomes zero, and we're left with three times two x, which is six x. That's the derivative, and that's the answer for part a. In part b, they want us to evaluate the derivative at x is equal to one. That's not hard to do. At x is equal to one, b is equal to simply six. So the rate of change at x is equal to one for the function three x squared is six. Another way to look at this is that we have the function 3x squared and its parabola. It looks like this, it's a quadratic parabola facing upwards. Let's say this is x is equal to one. And at this point, the rate of change is six units of y per every one unit of x. And that's precisely the reason why finding the derivative is important, that it allows us to find the rate of change at any point along the curve. And so there you have it. That is how to find the derivative by the delta method. Make sure to watch question two for a more complicated example.